Danke, Anna. Whoa, whoa. Don't rush it. Lean on me. I'll help you get downstairs. Who did this to you, Otto? I wish I knew who, who the m m men were. But they were, were, weren't here with the kindest in, 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 intentions. Are these men part of the distress you wrote me about? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Undoubtedly. I'm going to light a fire. Then you can tell me everything. Of course. There's no firewood when we need it the most. There are m m m more logs in the kitchen. I'll go find them. Be right back, Otto. some firewood. Now I can start a fire. Thank you, Anna. I feel better already. If not for you, I would have frozen to death. We both know I wouldn't let that happen, Otto. So what's going on here? Your letter wasn't exactly forthcoming. And where is Professor Clark? How do you know about the Professor? I took a glimpse at the guest book and saw he was staying here. The Professor wasn't in his room, but I found this photo of him. Professor Clark is ominously circled in red. May I see the photo? Someone is clearly looking for him. Yeah, unfortunately you are correct. Here is everything I know. The professor arrived unexpectedly earlier this week. No reservation. He looked nervous. I asked him for details, but he wouldn't say much. Two days went by without incident. A Riga hotel record. The professor started to relax. One morning, there was a loud knock on the door. No one was there. Just a letter. It was for the professor. As soon as he read it, he went pale. What was the message? I have no idea. He wouldn't tell me. It was encrypted in a secret language. He immediately barricaded himself in the cabin, refused to leave. The next day, a new coded message was in the snow outside the cabin. Something was amiss. I tried asking the professor about it, but his lips were sealed. So I wrote to you. 
I was cleaning room 8 that night. The lights suddenly went out. Then, whack! Something hit me. When I came to, I was tied to the chair. I overheard them say the professor left his cabin. They asked me, Where is the professor? I said I had no idea. And so, whack! They knocked me out again and opened the window so I would freeze to death. Well, I'm relieved Professor Clark managed to escape. Unless they caught up to him later. God only knows. Let's decipher those messages the Professor received. They might be our best lead for figuring out what happened. Where can I find them? I keep all the letters for guests at the reception in a letterbox. The first coded message should be there. I'll go find it. message. This is almost certainly the first message. Very interesting. I've seen ciphers like these before. Any luck, Anna? Yes, I found the message. Did you crack the code? Not yet. I'll need more messages in order to find patterns. You said the second one was etched in the snow near the cabin. Yeah, so I copied it to a sheet of paper. I put it somewhere in the hall. Not to worry. I'll have a look around.
coded message. Just my luck. There are no similarities at all between the messages. Did you find the second message? Yes, but the messages are too different from one another. I need to find patterns so I can decode the words. Is there anything else we can do? The professor might have had a key to the code in the cabin. I'm going there to check. Then I will go with you. <coughs> Otto, you almost froze to death a few moments ago. I'll search the cabin. You stay here and rest. If you have the strength, go ahead and call the police. Will do, Anna. Please be careful out there.